Hello everyone, in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to edit product photos for e-commerce website. In this case we will edit out a handbag. Now, this is the handbag that we are going to edit. So first, let's make a duplicate of the layer by pressing Command J or Ctrl J on Windows or just simply right click on the layer and duplicate layer. Now, the first thing that we, gonna, we need to do is I will clear out these dark parts here. I will do that using the constant tool. Select the constant tool. Make sure that the hardness is low at uh, 0%. Let's increase it. You can increase the burst sizes by uh, pressing the left and right bracket keys. Just hold down Alt and Sample from wherever you want to clone and just paint. Right here. Now, this pattern lets us use the constant tools. For example, if you want to edit other parts, you can uh, other photos that uh, don't have a pattern that lets you use the constant tool. Like for here, for example, if you sample from here and brush over here, as you can see, it's totally different. But this pattern of the handbag lets us do that with the uh, constant tool. Now, we will need to straighten out the handbag here and here. We will do that with the liquify tool. Just go to filter and then liquify. Now, Like this. Now, once you're done, press OK. Now, grab the eraser tool. For this, we need to make sure the hardness is up 100%. And just erase. We just erase the parts that, are mess, uh, that were messed up with the uh, liquify tool and now we delete it with the uh, eraser tool and you see the bottom layer. Now for this, let's just select both, both layers, press command J to duplicate them and just merge them so that you have a fresh layer. Now again this here you can raise it with a if you want with the brush tool you can paint over it or with the constant tool I will use the constant tool here just to get rid of this it's not a problem after that we'll after that we'll cut out the handbag from the background so this won't be a problem but let's quickly it is. Like this. Now you see that it's perfectly straight now. 
So we need to straighten out this part here. Select the rectangular marquee tool. Let's make a selection here. You'll select from here over here. Now just press Command C or Control C to copy. Press now paste it by pressing Command V or Control V on Windows. Now go to Edit and then Free Transform. And now we can transform the selected part. As you can see, it's on a new layer. Now make sure the aspect ratio isn't locked right here. And just make the width minus 100%, press OK. Now we need to move it right about here. This is good. Now again select the razor tool, make sure the hardness is zero. Increase your brush size. And now let's just Erase the edges. Like this. So that the pattern matches. Like this. Now let's increase the hardness. And erase. Like this, so that we see the, again, we see this layer here. Now select all layers by pressing the Shift key. Press Command J to duplicate them. And just merge them again. So that again we have fresh layer with the color stamp tool. Let's get clear on this. like this. Perfect, now we have two straight ends here and here. Now that the handbags is straightened out, let's, let's erase the background. Now I will erase the background using the pen tool. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, I will have a tutorial on how to do that. The link will be down in the description below. Now I will speed up the video so that I uh, cut out the handbag more faster. Now, once you are done, just right click and select make selection, press OK. Now, select the rectangular marquee tool, right click and then select inverse. And just press the back key. Now let's make a new layer, put it below this one, and with the paint bucket tool, let's say select a white color, and just fill out the layer with white, and this is what you'll get. Now 
let's continue by erasing these parts here. Now just right click, make selection, this is the selection that we made, and just press the backspace. Now again, right click, make selection, press OK, by the way, make sure the feather is, is uh, one pixel, press OK, now backspace, now for this part here I will use the eraser tool, just select the eraser tool, I will lower the hardness, because it's easier for me with, uh, with the eraser tool. Like this, and we are done. Let me just crop out the picture a little bit. Like this now. Go to filter and then camera raw filter. And let's play around. I will decrease the exposure, maybe lower the contrast a little bit, add some hard lights, I will make the shadows lighter, increase the blacks, add a little bit of texture and a little bit of color, but just a little bit, press OK. Now, as you can see these parts here here, here, I don't like it, here, it's a little bit dark, now, just create a brightness contrast layer, increase the brightness, like this, now, by holding the old key, hover above the layer, that your hand back it, and just click on it, now, the the brightness and contrast affects only this layer here. Now press Command I or Control I to inverse, and with the brush tool and the colors white, just paint over the parts that you want the bright brightness to affect. Like this now, as you can see, the process affects only the, those parts. Let's increase it. Like this. Now I see that I forgot to erase here. Select the eraser tool or the hardness. Now we are done. Create a new layer. So, <clears throat> the first thing I can do is make a shadow below it, like this, and just go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Convert Smart Object, and just increase the blur, press OK, 
and now the handbag it's it created an effect like the handbag is floating in the air. The second effect that you can do is just select the these both layers, make a duplicate of them, merge them. Now as you can see we have two handbags. Now go to edit and then free transform or just or just press command your on your keyboard. Now the height just make it minus 100 percent press ok and just position it below the handbag like this now grab the eraser tool make sure the hardness is zero increase the size and just erase here and now lower the opacity of the layer And now we made a glass reflection effect. It's like the handbag is sitting on a glass. So these are the two effects that I use. The first one is a floating one. And the second one is a glass reflection. So this is the tutorial for today. If you liked the video, press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. Thank you. Bye bye.